Let's talk about the first element of gun fit, length of pull. This is probably the most important for comfort, and it also has an impact on where the eye rests on the rib. Length of pull is the distance between the center of the trigger and the center of the back of the butt pad. Guns are essentially made by manufacturers for males who are 160 to 180 pounds, size 40 suit, and, uh, and that doesn't fit every person that likes to shoot a shotgun. So if you're a little bit off of that specification, um, you're probably going to need to make some adjustments to the gun. Um, the average length of pull uh, on a gun off the shelf for most manufacturers is between 14 and 3 8 and 14 and 5 8 And again, that fits a male size 40, 160 to 180 pounds, um, 5 foot 10 pretty well. But it doesn't fit your 5 foot 2 female very well. So in the case of a, 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 a shorter female, for example, we'd want a shorter length of pull. So we'd want to cut this off. Uh, in, in the case of a six foot four male, let's say, uh, we'd want to extend the length of pull. So length of pull is really important for comfort, but it also has an impact on where the eye rests above the rib. Why? Because in, for most guns, this is called the comb, this is called the peak, this is the heel. In most, for, in most cases and for most guns, the peak is higher than the heel. So the further, the closer to the receiver that the, uh, or the action that the uh, shooter's eye gets, the higher up the eye will be positioned above the rib. Uh, conversely, the farther back a shooter's face is to the action, um, the lower typically the eye will sit vis-a-vis -vis the rib. So uh, to impact length of pull, you should get some advice from a good gun fitter and make sure that the gun fits approximately this way. You're, what you're looking for is approximately two fingers, two fingers in length between the, the uh, base knuckle of the thumb and the tip of the nose when the gun is properly mounted. So that's approximately the dimension that you're looking for, is about two fingers between the tip of the nose and the back knuckle of the thumb. So what do you do if you have a gun that's too long or too short? Well, you don't have a whole lot of options if a gun's too long for you. If a gun's too long for you, you need to send, send your gun or bring your gun to a qualified gunsmith or stock maker that can cut your stock down to the appropriate length to where for you, when you mount your gun, that you're getting that ideal two fingers between the back knuckle and uh, the tip of the nose. If your gun's too short, there's a real easy way to modify that. There's a number of products on the market. The one I'm holding here is a Boyt um, length of pull extender. It's basically a butt pad cover. And um, you can basically slip these on. It's got a nice little Velcro fastener and uh, fasten it on. So now I've, I've extended my length of pull by about 3 eighths of an inch. You can also get uh, little um, inserts made by a gunsmith uh, that fit right in the back of, of your butt pad extender if in fact uh, the way it comes from the factory and out of the package isn't long enough. So you can essentially put any number of inserts in your butt pad extender to get the appropriate length so that, again, you're looking for that two fingers between the knuckle and the nose. And you see now my, my gun's a little longer than I need, so that insert that I've got in there is probably a little bit too much for me. But it might be perfect for somebody that's about six foot four. That's all for now for uh, length of pull. See the other segments about the elements of gun fit in future weeks.